Welcome to Death Valley for this very crucial SEC matchup between the LSU Tigers and the Miami Hurricanes. I think it's going to be an interesting matchup for both of these uh, teams. Miami's 0-1 in the SEC. LSU's 1-1. They're both 2-1 overall, but a very pivotal, pivotal uh, conference matchup here. Winner of this game obviously going to bolster uh, their resume for a playoff berth as Gage Youngblood going to open things up through the air. Going forward, Miami doesn't want to go 0-2, so 1-1 one one is their best option. That's going to help them both. They really need this win, both teams. Youngblood to throw again, and this time he's able to drop that one in. What a dime for JoJo Tidwell. Youngblood been very crucial to the success of the LSU Tigers. 1,132 yards through the air so far this season. He'll go to a check down for Maltzer. Well, some of these quarterbacks are going to go through that, especially the young ones. Uh, he kind of got it last week. He bit him a little bit. We'll see how he re rebounds. He's going to take a shot, and up the right sideline is Woods. All spotted down inside the 10 here with Gage Youngblood in the gun. Two by two set. They're going to run the speed option. A pitch to his twin brother, Colt Youngblood. Started with 22 carries week one, 13 in week two against Texas. Only three carries last week. They want to see them turn that around. He gets his first carry on the first drive. Gage a throw. That one a little off target for Woods and through the back of the end zone. Well, good coverage there by Miami. And Youngblood tries to fire it in there, but puts it where nobody can catch it. Good job. They'll see what they do here. Three-man rush. Youngblood going short here, not able to hold on is Eric Maltzer. Uh, forced to call upon Remy Boudreau. This will be a 25-yard field goal attempt in from the left hash, and he delivers for the first points of the game. Well, the Miami defense steps up in the red zone. They were first in red zones defended coming in. 31% of the time their opponent gets into the red zone, no points. That's an excellent, excellent number. They bottle it up there and limit them to just a field goal. Bueno going to start, quick throw out into the flats here and leading his walk on Billy Wilson for three yards. Kind of going backwards a little bit, been consistent, but only more around the 500, 600 yards and five, five to seven touchdowns. They're going to need more from him. Bueno to the corner, there's Bag pick it up 23 yards. But Blaze Gunner coming over from uh, Nebraska, where he played last season, one up transfer in this season, joins Miami a couple weeks in. He adds a different dimension to this offense. Bueno on three option keeper, and it's going to cost him. Bueno here to throw, and a quick strike over the middle for the walk on Wilson. Pistol set with Nick Bag uh, in the backfield here, and they're going to use him as Duncan will get the carry. And off here, Duncan running to the right, and he will turn the corner. That's what they're really going to want to do, turn their uh, Duncan. 100% of the time, Miami in the red zone, they've scored this year. Using the receiver, Andre Woodard, as a decoy on that triple option. That Miami can run, and you got Duncan, who's a great runner. you got Bueno, who's a really good runner. It makes it really tough to stop this defense, or this offense. It's still set. Hand off, Duncan running right. He's got an alley to run through, and he's got the touchdown for the Miami Hurricane. Hand off, Colt Youngblood right up the middle, and uh, he'll get 13 yards. Gage Youngblood to throw here this time, and he's going to look to the flats. Hand off, Colt Youngblood up the middle here, and he'll get nine yards with that carry. Coming into tonight with 38 carries, is Gage Youngblood going to run the read option keeper? Uh, if they can use them, they've got extra options. We, we were off a day. It's been throwing us off. It's a, it's a, it's a strange situation. Triple option pitch there. Well, there is a young blood in the backfield, but it is a quarterback young blood, and he's going to go short for Maltzer. They're going to empty out the backfield again. This time, bubble screen for the tight end, Marcus Buford. As is Maltzer, who's had a big couple of games the last two weeks. Maltzer gets motion into the backfield for the triple option again. It's Colt young blood will get the carry, and he is stopped pretty quickly. Two by two, look. Speed option, the pitch. There's Colt Youngblood trying to get to the end zone, but he's not going to. Empty backfield, Gage to throw to the middle, and the tight end, Buford holds on. I mean, season two is the only other season that they were in the league that doesn't really count. Right. Miami's fortunes on the road, by the way, not much better. They're three and six on the road. It's bueno. I think it's going to be tough playing here in Death Valley, especially these night games. Miami, they're going to have to play a really good game to get the win tonight. Bueno's going to take off and run, and it's tripped up. Jose Bueno has only been sacked once this season. Well, and I was going to say that on that play, that is a spot where Bueno usually takes a sack. We saw him try to sneak in. Oh, come on, go! 
Colt Youngblood <laughs> fighting. He gets out to midfield. Would have been a loss of yards uh, a lot of times in the previous three seasons. Youngblood pumps left, floating it down to the left. See Maltzer fighting to get to the end zone, but he's dragged down at the one by Kevin Brackett. But you're going to spot it at the two where Gage Youngblood with two tight ends going to look to throw. Floating it for Buford, and he cannot hold on. He's right there to get the interception, and he just bats it away. And a flag thrown here. We'll see if it winds up hurting LSU. And the first quarter, they're going to go to Colt Youngblood to the inside. He's going to get back. Start of the second quarter, and the ball is spotted from the three-yard line. Read option keeper and Gage Youngblood gets stood up. And that was the walk on Brent Everett that wound up getting the stop. But a great job by the Miami defense. The LSU offensive line gets the five-yard penalty. Two plays that would have been touchdowns. They don't get in the end zone. We'll see how it works out. Bueno throwing short. Nick bag down the slide where he's been playing a lot this season. As Bueno on the read option keeper gets a crease courtesy of Bag. And Jose Bueno showing a set of wheels going to back him up to the LSU 33. It's Bueno rolling right, and he will throw. Coming back and leaping for it was Blaze Gunner. Empty backfield here for Bueno. He's going to try and take off and run, and the new addition to the LSU defense. Sacked for the second time this season, so a pistol set here on third and long. Three-man rush. Bueno throwing well short of the marker, and he leads Nick Bag out of bounds. Uh, really good stop there by the defense. Now we'll see if they can get the field goal and make it a three-point game. 45-yarder and from the left hash, and Rigby Bronson delivers. We are still getting about 5 or 6% frame rate drops. I don't know why. I don't know if it's OBS. I don't know if it's Twitch. Um, but, uh, yeah, kind of disappointing. And Colt, or Gage Youngblood in the backfield. Colt to his right. They give it to him on the draw, and Colt Youngblood running left. Empty backfield, trips right. Gage Youngblood to the middle of the field. That pass caught by JoJo Didwell. I wouldn't mind seeing that a little bit more. Maltzer gets a lot of those two. Didwell. Out the outside now. we got to see him take some shots deep. It's definitely helping out their offense, I think. Gage Youngblood forced to keep it there, and he is stopped. It's quite the legacy to live up to, too, to inherit that number. Is that pass caught by Tidwell makes one man miss. Uh, right now, LSU playing uh, soft coverage out there. Play fake there. A couple weeks ago, 16 catches, 225 yards Ooh. for Buford as JoJo Tidwell gets rocked. Trips to the near side here as Gage Youngblood throw into the wheel route for Colt, and he gets lit up. Empty backfield, four receivers to the right, three of them bunched together and in tight to the formation. Is that pass? Finding Woods on a post route, and it's a 20-yard touchdown. It's a bueno to throw, and it's a quick throw to the walk-on Wilson. It's on fire, so it'd be E-N and the new word Fuego. Uh, hand off there to uh, Duncan, not to steal your play-by-play -play duties. Jose Bueno, as we've seen running the ball, his vision has just gotten so much better this season. Definitely has, as Bueno showing his vision and reading routes there is uh, he leaves Wilson out to dry because he gets decked. This is the fourth third down for this Miami offense. They've only converted one for three so far as Bueno to throw, blitz coming, and he's gonna fire that one in for Blaze Gunner. Mr. Full House and Marcus Duncan getting the carry, trying to bounce it outside to the right, but that play blown up quickly. It's LSU defense showing that blitz as Bueno throwing middle. Nick back down the slot to the left as Bueno moving to the pocket, taking a shot in the end zone, back corner intercepted by this LSU defense. Age young blood with an empty backfield looking to add to this lead here before halftime, and he will start with a quick throw for Woods. Deep backfield here, three receivers in, bunched to that right side, and that quick throw over the middle for Maltzer. Miami showing blitz with Kevin Brackett coming down into the box. He will back out, halfback screen, left side, Colt Youngblood Ooh. hurdles a man, but he's forced out of bounds because of Brackett. Green man rush this time, Gage stand in, taking a shot downfield, and that pass intercepted. Kevin Brackett, now he's trying to run it back and he'll be stopped at the 15. It's going to be an important drive here for Bueno and company to get points on the board. The last two drives, they wanted to get points to have it. You want to start with points here to start the half. Bueno going to keep it and he takes a hard hit. Bueno in the pistol and Nick Bag gets motioned around. Very interesting setup as he will lead the way for Marcus Duncan. Pistol set. 
Duncan getting the carry, running the inside, and he's not going to get much, only a gain of two. Unless you force them out of the box, it's going to be tough for Duncan to find room. Wayno throwing short to the right side. That's Walk on Wilson breaking two tackles. I, I have to suspect it's Twitch. I don't know. It's weird that it's gone this long, but uh, I don't know really what we could do to fix it. Wayno looking to throw, and then he's going to take off and run right up the middle, and he will pick up seven down to 41. Bueno going short. That's a walk on Wilson. Gets stood up. That's a name that Miami does not want to hear. Oh, he did pretty well as a walk on. And Ooh. not as good as Marcus Duncan. All spotted here at the 20 as a punt bounce through the end zone for the touchback. So Gage Youngblood with a three-man rush, and he's going to go to Colt Youngblood over the middle with that little angle route. Three-man rush again. This pass thrown short as well. Read option keeper, Gage Youngblood running outside to the right, lower in that shoulder, showing power. And off counter run, Colt Youngblood trying to find anything on that right side. Gage taking a shot to the right sideline. That pass caught by Cosmos Woods. Touchdown, LSU. Jose Bueno out of the pistol, and he will begin this drive with a handoff to Marcus Duncan right up the middle. Man rush, Bueno throwing the check down, dangerous throw because Allen Dutch nearly had an interception. FX screen, but it's for Nick Bag who lowers that shoulder and he will pick up the first down. Pistol side is Nick Bag been operating primarily out of the slot tonight as Bueno keeping on the read option and then he is caught on the gun, hand off Duncan trying to run that counter and he's going to get away from Archer. At least that is opening up the running game a little. Bueno going to take off and run here, running outside to the near sideline as Jose Bueno slipping through. Archer does a good job bringing him down, but Miami finally starting to move the ball. From a pistol set and another read option keeper for Bueno, this time running left. Nick Bag, the receiver in motion. As Marcus Duncan running counter to the spot that he vacated from the gun, Jose Bueno. Read option keeper running left. He's got a lane, and Jose Bueno fights, gets down inside the 10. Bueno looking, throwing middle, that pass caught, and fighting his way down to the three is Andre Woodard. Strong eye to the left, handoff, Duncan trying to turn the corner, but Marriott stops him right at the goal line. Two tight ends to the right, pistol set, Duncan up the middle, Ooh. fighting to get in, but he's not going to. A young blood looking to set up shop from his own 30, and he's going to go wide receiver screen, trying to jump it was Sanders, but instead Tidwell picks up 14. Both got orange sleeves on. It's hard to tell the two apart as Gage Youngblood going short left side. That's Colt Youngblood. Gage Youngblood to throw the halfback screen to the right side. That's Colt Youngblood breaking a tackle, stiff arming just in time. Gage Youngblood in the gun, going to give it to the walk on at tailback here, running to the left side. That and they're probably projecting slow growth or whatever. They probably never expected anything like coronavirus. And if all of a sudden people are turning to live broadcast when they wouldn't have been before, it's going to overload their servers, which I suspect is what's probably going on right now. Radio broadcast doing it old school as Tidwell makes that catch. And uh, Georgia fan voodoo as well as that pass to the corner of the end zone. Cosmos Woods, it's a gain of nine and the touchdown. Bueno has not taken a lot of shots downfield as the touchback brings us to the 25. Bueno dancing, floating that one into traffic. And that's going to hurt him because TJ Keene gets his second interception of the night. And they are reclaiming their spot as one of the powers in the SEC. Public screen for Buford. And off here to Colt Youngblood right up the middle, and he stopped a yard shy. To actually watch it accurately, uh, eventually Twitch is going to have to make some adjustments. We'll try lowering uh, the settings for the next game to hopefully uh, help compensate for it a little. But I know it's not something they're likely to fix overnight. It's likely going to take them several times, because not only do you need the hardware, as the field goal is good there. Bueno dancing, trying to pull off a comeback here, and uh, he'll find Blaze Gunner for a gain of 11. Uh, yeah, great job on the field goal. LSU just really rocking right now. Auburn the last two seasons, it's not yeah. an easy game, and they're going to need to pull off yet another upset to end this losing streak. Bueno looking, floating that one, and that hits the corner, but it's incomplete in terms of playoff seating and conference play because Ohio State and Nebraska uh, we'll go head to head. We can delay the next game a little bit and just try to go to YouTube and see if they're a little bit more stable. 
So I'll look into it after this game. We'll probably have to delay the next game a little bit, but uh, we'll look at YouTube and maybe we can stream on YouTube. As uh, Miami tries to expand theirs and try to cut into this deficit, Bueno looking to try to take off and run, breaks the tackle. The tricky part is going to be, uh, I'll be curious to see how this works out and how different people's usernames are from Twitch. Hopefully that can be the uh, a nice uh, change of pace. Well, here's a change of pace. Bueno downfield for Blaze Gunner. They're going to go for two, try to close the gap, and it's not going to work out. Going to the right side, LSU recovers it. And Gage Youngblood in the gun got three wide uh, to the near side of the field here, and that's Colt Youngblood running left. If you guys can hear us, uh, we'll try to get the next game on YouTube, and hopefully it fixes it. I was hopeful that Twitch had their stuff worked out. Uh, they didn't, so now we're going to adapt, and uh, maybe it's something, maybe we find a new audience. Gage Youngblood going to take his good old sweet time with this and try to let clock run down and uh, put things away. But, uh, you know, he'd like to drop 40 again. Something he hasn't done uh, in a couple of weeks is uh, he's going to take off and run this time, and he'll get the first down down inside the 15. Uh, we've talked about going to YouTube since last season. Yeah, we have. And Facebook. And actually, that was yeah. one thing that we were planning on doing as like a regular thing, like maybe doing Wednesday night games and uh, just haven't done it yet. But now it's kind of forcing our hand. Oh, there it is! There's Cosmos Woods from 15 yards out. It's LSU, another touchdown pass for Gay Jungblood. Established themselves in the SEC. On the other side of things, is Duncan gets a carry here. And again, another reminder uh, for those who can hear us, our next game, Ohio State and Nebraska at Lincoln Memorial, that'll be uh, over on YouTube. Miami hasn't done a good job of trying to take shots deep and spread out this defense, and uh, they just put themselves in a hole. Well, Miami does not want to go two straight weeks of not scoring 20 points after starting the season scoring uh, more than 30. Bueno threads that one. That's Gunner. That's a career high for him. I believe it is as uh, Bueno throws that through the back of the end zone. 18 tackles career high for Martavis Marriott. What's crazy about tonight, too, is the fact that LSU was favored uh, by two and a half in the sports book as Bueno finds bag, and uh, clearly LSU has shattered that spread. I think those kind of lines are changing now, whereas we're starting to see more about each of these teams. But, uh, we'll see, and we'll definitely talk more about that in that one, but uh, LSU gets the big win at home over Miami in this one.